Welcome back, everybody. We're going back home today for the divisional round playoff game against Joey Simpson and the Arizona Cardinals. This is Jesse Wagner's first ever playoff appearance, his first ever playoff game, and he is QB1 for the one seed Los Angeles Rams. We got to face a division rival today, a team that probably shouldn't be here, but they are here regardless. One game over 500. Their offense hasn't been too great. Their defense hasn't been too great, but they're here anyways. They took down their opponents in the wild card round, and now they're here in all whites to take on the Rams. A big game right here for number nine. Can he get it done? Can the offense get it done? You've already beat this team once, but today, the Cardinals are going to have their X-Factor tight end available. Larry Schultz wearing 87. We did not face him on our last matchup, so it's our first time seeing him on the football field today. But the divisional round starts right now. Here we go. Arizona will start with the football as they will take the kneel in the end zone. Now comes Joey Simpson. Hasn't started the whole year for the Cardinals. He only has uh, about half a season worth of uh, yards and touchdowns and all that stuff. But first play from scrimmage outside to Quinn and Clifton, who gave us problems in our last game against Arizona. Next play under pressure. It's Darius Richards off the edge. And he takes down Simpson for a loss of nine. Raheem Finch also there for a half sack to help out Richards. That brings up second and long, and now a long way to go on third down. Pressure coming once again. Candidate and Levy take down Simpson once again. A loss of 11 this time, and the Rams force a three and out to start the ball game. That's how it's done. So out comes Jesse Wagner for the offense. First throw in the playoffs. It's caught. A short one to Morgan Stoudemire, who had a busy day in Week 18. And now to Williams, who finds a hole and gets across the Arizona 35. 18 yards on his first carry. Right back to him on the next set of downs, and he shoved ahead for six. Malcolm Izzo on that tackle. Going to keep it on the ground outside this time, and moving the chains once again. Jamie Cooper tackles Williams inside the red zone. Going to give it to him again. His fourth run goes for only three. To set up second down. Empty look. Wagner incomplete. Knocked away from Williams. Brings up third and seven. From the 14, it's a screen. Blockers in front. And inside the five is Matthew Williams. Busy day for him on this first drive already. Next play. Up the middle and into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. We strike first. A three and out by our defense. A touchdown drive by the offense on their first possession. And we are in front. Elway Coos PAT makes it. Seven to nothing. Eight plays. 53 yards. And a lead. Cardinals will get it back. This is the return across the 20. And the ball is out. It's recovered by the Rams. Do you believe it? CJ Tapp just couldn't hang on. And Brandon Barkley jars it loose on the kickoff return. Caleb Williams recovers it. And the Rams are all of a sudden in business once again. Our second straight possession. Can we go up by two scores? First play, it's Williams up the middle, dragging defenders for eight more yards. Now to the air, right back to 21. He's tackled from behind and tripped up at the one. Malcolm Izzo. Loses track of Williams, but still trips him up on the shoestring tackle. First and goal. Williams in there again. Touchdown, Rams. What a start to this playoff game. 
The Cardinals have got to be rattled. The PAT is up and it is good. All three levels of this team are playing well here in the first quarter. The special teams, the defense, the offense have all made plays to get us to this 14-0 lead. Second down for Simpson. It's caught by Schultz. And now he bursts up the sideline. Vance tracking him down. And he's tackled inside the 15. But not before they get all the way to the red zone. Carlos Ruiz in coverage. And he just misses the tackle. It's a wobbler from Simpson. But Ruiz gets turned around. And then it just falls over. So a mistake from the rookie. Sets up first and 10 for Leach. His first carry goes for around three yards. Under two to play in the quarter. Leach saunters into the end zone, diving across the goal line. Touchdown, Arizona. A big response there on their second drive, and they're back within one score. PAT is up and through. That was a big drive for the Cardinals. And can the offense respond? Leading 14-7. Two drives, two touchdowns so far. As Wagner overshot for Trevor Offord, who had plenty of space. Now he dump it for him, and he spins away from a tackle up across the line to gain. What a play by number five. Back to Williams on the ground. He sheds a tackle and fights for eight yards. Great run right there, but at a what cost? Steve Avila exits the game. Second and short. Offered has to go to the ground and make the grab, but he hangs on to move the chains once again. And now behind him for five more. At midfield. Play action. This is Parson across the 45. We're back in Cardinals territory as the first quarter comes to a close. We're leading and we're driving. We flip field to the start from the 44-yard line. Williams outside and off tackle across the 20-yard line. A 25-yard gain. And we are back in the red zone, folks. Back to the air on first down. Broke it up for Stoudemire by Jamie Cooper. A longtime defensive captain here in Arizona. Trying on the ground, but nothing doing here for Williams. His first real yard for, or a run for no gain, rather. And now third and ten pressure from Jerry Hall, and Wagner has to get rid of it. The Cardinals defense holds in the red zone for a coup field goal. We're back up by two scores. Starting from their 23. Simpson trying to escape the pressure. Dumps it for Tyler Scott. It's his first reception. And now Leach on the ground. Sheds a tackle from Ruiz and got just barely enough for the first down. We has got to do some better tackling here, man. That's already two plays where he's allowed a first down when he had a chance to prevent any play from happening. That was Schultz. And now first and ten. Clifton can't hang on. But now they got the first down. It's Tyler Scott on the slant. Joey Simpson, seven for eight starts. Despite some constant pressure... Nice wrap up there by Warren Terry. Just inside the Rams 40. They're in field goal range and they're adding to it. First down again for Larry Schultz. Under six to play in the half. He's got a man open, but he overthrew Scott. He beat Terry Hackett in coverage and was wide open in the end zone. Instead, it's second down and Schultz is even more open. Inside the 10. Can the defense get a stop here? From the eights. This is Leach all the way down to the two. That was an interesting defensive look right there. Now we're going goal line. 
This is Zach Charbonnet into the end zone for a touchdown. And the Cardinals have closed the gap even further. PAT is up and good from Jake Elliott. 11 plays, 5 minutes off the clock. And only a 3-point game now. Our next drive starts at our 25-yard line. Play action and completes. David Parson up to the 40-yard line for a first down. Trying to tack on more to our lead prior to the break, but Wagner is intercepted. Undercut by the safety, Kevin Lewis. He thought he had Parson, but he just forgot about the safety, man. Parson looks open. He beat Cooper, but they're in a zone. And Wagner did not see it. The Cardinals take over with under four to go and a chance to tie or take the lead but prior to halftime. Just shy of the 50. A deep shot and the end zone broken up trying to go for David Jets. But Emmanuel Forbes was right there in coverage. Next play, it's Quinn and Clifton to set up third and four. Go to the air, and it's complete. David Jett hangs on despite the hit from Daniel Levy. They're back in business with Daniel Leach, or Anthony Leach on the ground, rather not Daniel. Last play before the warning. Leach is tackled short of the marker. Empty look. Third and short to go. Clifton hangs on. A short little st stunt route and goes for about three and a first down. Next play, it's Leach on the halfback wheel for the first down. Arizona trying to close this half extremely strong. We only have brought three on the pressure. Back of the end zone, incomplete again for Scott. Richards that time in coverage. Under a minute to go on the clock. Levy takes down Leach for a loss of one. 11 to go on third down. A big play right here. We brought pressure in. The ball's loose. Bernard with the sack. It's recovered by Baz Knight. And the Rams take over. Another fumble forced by this team. And this time it's a backup. Christian Bernard. Him and Brandon Barkley have saved a couple of possessions and given us two extra ones. 40 seconds to go. Don't screw this up, Wagner. He's got Jackson. He keeps his balance, and he is gone. Touchdown, Rams. The momentum just swung in our favor. They were looking like they were going to take the lead, but instead it's us extending it. What a play by David Jackson. That is why we traded for him, man. We never saw any plays like this from Tremaine Donalds. He doesn't have that pop, but Drake or David Jackson does. He simply does. But there's still time for Arizona before halftime. We bring five. He's hit as he threw, and it's incomplete. 24 seconds on the clock. Good protection for Simpson. And he finds a receiver for nine. They're out of timeouts. One yard to go on third down. Simpson escapes the pocket and throws it away. When he could have ran for the first down, but that would have probably milked the clock out. And we go to halftime. Leading 24 to 14. What a way to end that second quarter. Absolutely amazing stuff. That was a 71 yard touchdown, by the way, on the first play of the drive. So, if you guys aren't aware, uh, the Bears beat the Vikings. So, we're going to be playing the Bears instead next week if we win this game. Would have rather liked to face the Vikings because we've had two really fun games against them, but. We do have Patrick Mahomes' number. So we got to get there first. And we're starting out the second half hot. That is David Jackson wide open. He's got 91 yards now on two receptions. 
This one is caught by Parson, but a flag is down. Is this coming back? It's P.I. against the Cardinals. So regardless, we have it at the 41. This is offered for three on the outside. 11 for 16 day for Wagner so far. Right now, Williams across the 30. He has already got a Benjamin on the ground on 12 carries, man. What a day for Matthew Williams. Although this time he's going backwards. Loss of two. Nolan Smith Jr. on the tackle. Sets up second down and along. And back to the original line of scrimmage. Long way to go on third down. Wagner should have been picked. Holy cow, we are lucky. Malcolm Ezzo couldn't hang on. That was way too close for comforts. We settle for three instead to extend our lead to 13 points. What does the Arizona offense have in store here in the second half? First possession, they give it to Leach on the ground, but not much there. Right back to him. A yard shy of the sticks. Chance to get off the field here. Pressure from Carl Graham, but it's complete. Across the 50-yard line. 17 for 23 for Joey Simpson, man. We have not forced too many incompletions. Doing a good job against the run, though. Empty on... Second down, this is Larry Schultz. Inside the Rams, 40. Another third and one. Leach hesitates, and he's taken down by Buda Baker and Carlos Ruiz. It's about time he showed up. They will take the field goal instead. Elliott knocks it through from about 56 yards. The offense comes back out. The ground game has been working without any signs of slowing down. And here we go again. Six yards on this carry. Feed the beast. Second and four is a BJ Trainer sighting. Okay, we'll take it. At least he caught the ball. Used to a couple of drops by him. Now just shy of the 40. Trevor Offer turns upfield across midfield and... We're back in Arizona territory. First play of the new set of downs. Loss of one for Williams. Now nobody in the backfield. It's over the middle intercepted by Jalen Thompson. Trying to go for Matthew Williams, man, and he just threw it too late. It was open for a little while, and then he threw it right when he wasn't. First and ten at midfield again, but they're going backwards. Carlos Ruiz and Daniel Levy brought the pressure. He blitzed our linebackers, and they got there unblocked easily. A loss of ten. Second down, and incomplete. So a long way to go on third down. They will just hand it off. That is a very conservative play called down by 10 here in the playoffs. And they just accept the punts. I mean, we'll take it, but that is a very conservative scheme right there. Here we go. Second chance to put points on the board. With two picks for Jesse Wagner here in his first playoff game. Would love to bring those down and not have any others. And completes on first down. Trips top of your screen. Wagner complete to Williams. To set up third and four. Don't want to go three and out here. This one is caught. Randolph insider across the 35-yard line to end the third quarter. We lead 27-17 with the ball. A chance to really make things difficult on a comeback attempt for the Cardinals. Quick throw at the feet of Izzo and out of reach for Stoudemire. From 37 on second down. 
Wagner checks it down for Parson. Now we got third and long. Pressure coming. Wagner steps up and heaves one down the field. It's broken up. Trying to go for Matthew Williams, but Cortland Robertson in coverage. He prevents the big play. So we end up punting. The Cardinals get it back with plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. And Leach has a hole. Somebody make a tackle. It's Richards instead. The last line of defense. That was a little scary. First and ten. Right back to Leach. He finds a hole and gets about eight more. He's got 62 yards now on 14 carries. Stimson cross body throw incomplete. Knocked down by Emmanuel Forbes. That brings up third and two, but it's four down territory. Clifton's got it across midfield and in Rams territory again. He moves the chains. They go back to the ground. Leach only gets a few. Does this defense have one more takeaway in them or just a stop? Another oh, crossbody throw that Richards really has to catch next time. That is a dropped INT and a dropped opportunity too. A floater and he sailed it for Larry Schultz. But now a Tremaine candidate goes down for the Rams. That is a pretty big loss. They will settle for a deep field goal. Jake Elliott from 59. It is wide to the right. No chance. And now Carl Graham is hurt. We don't even know why. But we take over to Shia midfield. The defense did get their stop. Play fake for Wagner. It's caught by Parson. Up to the 35-yard line. So back in field goal range. Don't want to go backwards anytime soon. Williams up to 113 here on the ground. He'll get it again. But into a wall he goes. Third down and six. We give it again. And now he's got a hole and much more. He spins away from some tacklers. Dude, he is so much fun to watch. He's been juking people out these last couple of weeks, spinning away from tacklers, breaking tackles. I mean, he's been special. The ground game is looking a lot better than it did to start the season. Second down and 10, right to Williams at the 5. Another third down for this Arizona defense. Just under four and a half to go. Wagner through the hands of Parson. What in God's name happened there? That was a good throw. It was online. But Parson just couldn't get his hands on it. We settle for three instead. So we lead 17 to 30. There's still time left for the Cardinals. We bring five, but good protection for Simpson. And he checks it down. Now going empty. Under pressure, and it's caught by Scott. But shy of the sticks. Third and two. Four down territory. Escaping pressure. Incomplete on the crossbody throw. They have to stay out there. Season on the line. Leach has the first down just barely. Back to throw again. Quick one, and he missed Scott up the seam, who was definitely open. Second down. Simpson on the move, finds Schultz. Another third and shorts. Good protection once again. Simpson evades any pressure and finds David Jett at the sideline to once again move the chains. 2.26 to go and counting. Pressure coming. Carl Graham tracks him down. A big loss of 14. A homing missile from Carl Graham right there. And they're going to convert it with Larry Schultz. Are you serious? You could not get a 14-yard second and immediately give up the first down right after, man. Schultz now in the zone. We only brought three on the pressure and... 
It's nine more yards. Quick throw. Picked off by Levy. He's got it. But there is a flag down. Is this coming back? They're going to say it is. P.I. Not on Levy, but on Caleb Williams. So wipe away the Levy pick. First and goal, Cardinals. Simpson hesitating, and he's taken down again, this time by Quincy Baz Knights, who had the fumble recovery earlier in this game. Levy now in the zone. Simpson scanning and has to throw it away. Nothing opening up. Now 21 yards out from the end zone. Third attempt. Pressure again. Simpson overthrows Tyler Scott. Had three Rams defenders right by him. He got two defenders now in the zone. But Schultz says two. Fourth down for the end zone. Wide open. It's David Jett for a touchdown. With less than a minute to go on the clock. The Cardinals close the game back to one score. They have to go for the onside kick down by six. This is recovered by David Jackson. Just go down. He recovers it and does not lose it. A first down ends the ball game. And we're throwing the ball for some reason. That's way too dangerous. Got eight yards to Parson there, though. Second and short. Williams has the first down. And the ball game is over. The Rams take it by six. 24 to 30. And we are moving on to the NFC Championship game against the Chicago Bears, led by Patrick Mahomes. What a win. The offense honestly looked pretty damn good. Besides the two picks from Wider, which obviously are a pretty big deal in the playoffs, we didn't actually... Uh, lose too much off those INTs. I, I, I thought he played well outside of those two picks, but the offense, I mean, got off to a great start. The uh, special teams helped them out and set up a really uh, short second drive. And Matthew Williams, man, 136 on 20 carries, two touchdowns. He was amazing. David Jackson with that 71-yard touchdown, which completely changed the outcome of this game. That was a huge touchdown. Trevor Offord had 43 yards on a couple of big receptions. Daniel Levy, Bernard, Baz Knight, Graham, Ruiz, Richards, Kennedy, Finch all got to Simpson. It was a very impressive uh, just defensive effort in terms of the pressure that we got. But we got to really work on these picks because if we have two picks against a team like Chicago who is much better, uh, it's going to be tough to win that game. So hopefully Wagner can you know reel things in here after his first playoff game. But uh, this remains to be seen what happens. But how about Christian Bernard? A big play in this game, forcing the fumble in the red zone off of Joey Simpson to pretty much save a touchdown drive. And uh, now we got to face the Bears, who are 12-5. They've been a very good rushing team, a pretty, you know, uh, solid defense. But they have some really good defensive players too, man. You know, Besides from Patrick Mahomes on the offensive side, this team has some playmakers. They beat Minnesota, which, I mean, we couldn't beat them this year, so that tells you all that you, you need to know about these guys. They beat Mike Kopp, who is tearing us apart. A big day for Gordon Hoover here, 134 and a touchdown against Minnesota, so gotta watch out for him. They had uh, three sacks from three defensive linemen, a pick from Jermaine Edmonds, so... This defense means business, and you know, the roster tells you why. They got Edmonds, Burroughs, Jalen Johnson, Greg Fields, Spencer Johnson. Uh, they got some really good offensive linemen, so not expecting much of a pass rush in this next game. Going to rely a lot more on coverage, which has not been our strong suit uh, as of late. But that is coming up next, folks. The NFC Championship next time. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.